and so that way your booty drinks properly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you'll see there's a checklist of the things that you can do. For those of you who aren't aware, this is our library. This is our library. It doesn't really get used for library as far as books and things. Uh, but great as a study room. And third, I kind of set up this area. I, I like to think of it as a scuba material corner. And so in my recent scuba journals I put there, I have some maps up of scuba uh, locations in the general area and a map in the world of the world so we can all sort of drool when we think about places that we want to dive. Hi Nancy. Hi Nancy. Hi, 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 Nancy. <laughs> Come on in everybody. Let's crowd around. So this is the, the uh, scuba storage area, the scuba locker. Yeah, each of you can you know, hang your things. We have hangers over here, bar and hangers. There's bar and hangers over on this side as well. Whichever side you choose, no problem whatsoever. The nice thing about this is it allows the things to sort of drain out. A key thing with the booties, and it's important that, that you think about this, if you have a wet booty, shake it, scuba booty, and you happen to put it on like this, all the water is just going to pull down in the toe and it's not going to be able to drain out. So always make sure that your booty is pointed up. <laughs> <And so they're laughs> you also see the, the variety of, of scuba tanks that are in here. Many of these tanks, you'll see a Rosario Beach Marine Laboratory sticker on those. These new ones over here, for example. Those are university-owned scuba tanks that you can use. We fill these up and then we bring them here. However, it's always important to make sure the tank is actually full before you go diving, obviously. The pressure gauge that you can hook onto your tank to check it while it's in here. Let's talk about the uh, beginning of a dive. Anytime you go diving, anytime, you must have an oxygen kit with you. The nice thing, anywhere, 99.9% .9 of our dives that we do, we're within 15 minutes of emergency care. Whoever is in the boat, zero things in the ears. No earbuds, no headphones, nothing like that. We have two boats that we use primarily for our diving. Uh, we have a black Zodiac inflatable, which is out on the boat ramp. And then we have this Titan inflatable. It's a bit smaller, uh, excellent for two divers. You can get four, that's really kind of pushing in the driver. So you can gear up out here. We got some cables out here. You can gear up on this metal thing, but it's really loud. Uh, etc. Where are we right now? We are in a boat Ooh. going out to the, the boat drivers in our safety checkout procedure. Ah, this is going to be hard to film and paddle at the yeah, same time. That. So in the meantime, we'll see you on the water. Well, all that buildup with putting on the gear, now I can't get good shots of them in the water. I don't know. I don't know. But, hey, that was a fun time though, wasn't it? It was. They're going to be coming in the boat too soon. 
So that's part true. of our job is to help them get in the boat. They're going to try to get in and out of the boat to practice that. So that's our job. So they'll be showing up here at some point. We'll have to help them out. We'll see if we can film while that happens. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, probably not. So how'd it go? I have to say, it was a good time for all. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, nice. 5 out of 7.